And the diplomats of the Disc Dungeons tonight. Ben Scrivens is in goal for Toronto. He has a record of 7 6 and 0. Oh, and it will be Connor Knapp, a victor last night, his first professional win. And so the former University of Miami at Ohio goaltender will get the start here in his back to back going. Playing so grumpy right now, he's getting mad at his dog. No, no. Join the club. It bounces <laughs> exactly. out of the. I don't even own a dog. <laughs> and on the far side now <laughs> comes back to the blue line. I think we've got everything settled. There's a pass in front of that door. It went in off the leg of Goche Leduc, and it will be Nazem Kadri who gets the goal. He was trying to make a goal crease pass, and it goes in off the Emirates defenseman. Here is a coin. Sliding it around back of the net for Hamilton again. Trying to pull his way to the side of the net. Curls back. Little fake. Now comes to the front of the net. The back end. Scores! The good starts continue as Captain Ryan Hamilton steps right out of the corner and finds the five hole. And the Toronto Marlies have really worked at a fence so here for Rochester so far. And it's created some giveaways. A giveaway in the first goal by Leduc. And another one here, they don't get it out, and then a little cycling, and I mean, all of a sudden, just he walks right out of the corner, Hamilton. And bad positioning here, right there, and a little pick, and a mix-up, and Goche Leduc leaves his man, and then that allows Hamilton just to tuck right into the slot, throw it in between the legs of Knapp. Verona in over the line, Brennan is in the rush with him. Verona drops it off, going right to the net, now coming wide, and a shot of diving across for Scrivens. Great save, rebound at the point shot, Finley block. Another backhand try is steered into the corner. Good pressure here from the Rochester Americans, and Ben Scrivens has made a couple of excellent saves. Good pace here in the second period, a drive, and a one-timer by Matt Fratton, and a good save by Connor Knapp. Koska back to Nazem Kadri. Kadri gives it to Gardner. Gardner turning with it. It's a four-on-three power play here with players in the box. Fratton and Roy coming up. The shot scores! Gardner ripping it past the blocking glove of Connor Knapp. I absolutely love this power play, and the reason is the movement and the interchangeable parts throughout the power play. Look at these guys. I mean, nobody is really in a position here. They just move for one. They handle the puck, and they exchange positions. Here's another good look at it. Codry with a chance. It almost goes. He ends up at the point at that point. Both defensemen in. Now they move it again. Now Codry will move it down low. Now he goes down. Now a little switch from the defense. A little give and go. Down low. And just terrific movement. And then look what happens. The end result. Wide open is Gardner because of that movement. The draw one, Kadri doesn't shoot it, off on the wing to Gardner, he scores! Set play, back-to-back, -back, two goal performances from Jake Gardner, and it is 4-0, and that didn't take very long. Keep an eye on Gardner, we're going to set this up for you on the right side here, a set play, and he's a left-handed shot as well. And he just takes off, and a swooping shot right over top of Nat. Good play by Nazim Kadri. A real heads-up play in the set play, and what a shot. Up over top of the goalie, and this youngster's doing it again here tonight. Uh, it's fun to watch in practice. Team in parentheses <laughs> or team? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that too. Venerable George Armstrong leading the charge. A sweeping pass scores! Scribbins was down, but I think that goes underneath his stick. And the Rochester Americans get a much needed goal to get back into this game. Got it up against the wall and all of this excitement is being let go by the officials. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Tick tock, tick tock. Now, still not free. <laughs> hey, they got it freed up. All right, that was a minute and a half. Now here, Scott breaking through. He's got a break. He's in a goal. And a pad save made by Connor Knapp. Two very strong defensive plays on that last shift from the penalty Whoa, what a hit. Barbinian holds her, straightens up, and knocks down Braden McNabb. That was a pretty good hit. Off on the right wing side, Kevin Sunder gets it down into the Toronto zone. Played by Geisberg back at the net. That hit a stanchion. She comes right in front of the score. The stanchions here at Rico Coliseum have become rather famous.
And that was another strange play off the glass, off the stanchion, out in front. And the Rochester Americans have cut the margin in half. Back around behind the net is Geisbers. Off the boards, not out. Pump right back in again. Porter gets it in front of the net. A shot scores! With 55.9 seconds, another one-goal hockey game between these two teams. Brian Flynn will take the face off, and it is Keith Coyne taking the draw for the Marlies. The draw scrummed. And dug out, back to the blue line, it comes in the shot, ow, that hit somebody in the back, centering pass is blocked, back in front of the goal, shot went on, and that went off the body in front, and there's the horn, whoa, a wide open chance for T.J. Brennan, and the Marlies are going to hang on by the skin of their chinny-chin-chins.